Hi, my name's Sean McSevney. I'm a fishing guide based in Dorset. One of my favorite types of fishing is lure fishing, and that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna hit a couple of marks around Weymouth and Portland, and hopefully we're gonna get some fish. It's fairly late on in the season for bass. We're into mid-November now, but you know, it's been a fairly quiet season as well for bass this year. So what I'm gonna do is target some of the other species that are around. We've got pollock, there's still some bass, uh, still some garfish, some mackerel, but what I really want to do is have a go on soft plastics for the wrasse. They can be some fantastic sport on them, but we'll be actually fishing over on the island for them. But at the moment, we're going to have a go at Ferry Bridge, which is, a, is an area that often holds bass at this time of year. Previous years, I've had them right up until mid-December. So bass fishing is all about location at the right time with the right tide, but also about lure choice. So we're going to be talking about lure choices uh, when to use surface lures, when to use soft plastics and at different times of year as well. But what I want to do right now is just get a bit of fishing under my belt and we can talk about those other things in a bit. So the first mark this morning is Ferry Bridge, and the reason I've chose that is because it's an ebbing tide. It's not a large tide today, but the fish more likely to sit in the channels on the ebb. A lot of people fish this mark on a flooding tide, but I definitely think it fishes better on the ebb. And I'm using surface lures. Um, this is a Savage Gear Panic Prey, which fishes right on the surface. Quite an aggressive, splashy lure. Uh, the bass sit in the channels and wait for things coming over. So. Hopefully uh, they'll come up and have a go at that. But uh, it's all about lure choice. And because we're on shallow marks, this is why I'm using a surface lure. I've got a couple of other ones that I will use along here that will just fish just under the surface. Can also use some soft plastics, but it's definitely my preferred method to use surface lures along here. Well, so far I've had nothing at this mark, but that's lure fishing for you. We can move away quite swiftly, find somewhere else that the fish are. I'll tell you one thing, it's cold in there. I've got a hole in my waders I've just found. So we need to find somewhere that's a little bit warmer if that's possible today. So I've come over to Chesil Beach. It's probably one of the best marks for diversity of species in the country. But I'm only interested in fish that's gonna take lures. So bass, pollock, garfish, mackerel. Hopefully one of those is gonna be around this afternoon. Zonk 120, Rainbow Pearl. Probably one of the best lures for chisel you can possibly get.
The next mine I've come to is Port and Bill, and actually behind me is Pulpit Rock. This is on the west side of the island, and I'm just waiting for the tide really to pick up a bit. So I thought I'd have a quick go around the rock, in amongst these gullies, see if we can pick up a pollock or a bass on a, a little sea spin cockshida. Lure that fishes just under the surface. So in these really rocky conditions, that's what we want. We don't want something that's going to dive down deep. But I think what I'll also go is have a little go for the rust on soft plastics as well. But I'll have to move over to a different ledge because uh, it's a little bit, a little bit rough here for my liking. But I'll have a few more casts anyway. There we go, that was lucky, first cast, managed to get a pollock. It's not the biggest of fish, but a lovely little fish on, a, on that lure that runs just under the surface. Well that was good, good start, change of location. First cast, got a little pollock. So that's one of the species I'm after today. Um, I'll have another couple of casts, but then I think I'm going to have a go at wrasse fishing. <laughs> 